What is going on? Today we're going to be talking about um, a few different games, but mainly we're going to be covering Home Sweet Home, but I just wanted to touch on something. If you guys seen my Evil Dead review of uh, this game, you'll know that um, I didn't mind the game, but it felt very bland in some cases. It just got over... It just got very used to the same playstyle, and there obviously the player base is an issue, as you guys can tell. This is usually their player base. Base now, I don't remember what it was at release. I'm not signed in, so I can't really see. But uh, three months ago, 586, and it's fall flat this much. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, right? Let's cover Home Sweet Home. If you don't know who, what Home Sweet Home is, it's an asymmetrical game that was released like last month or a month or so ago. Anyways, I'm covering this game because I really like this game, and I do think it has a lot of potential. And it's not just an asymmetrical because they do have a multiplayer online battle mode, which is like 4v4, which I have not played yet, mainly because I can't even find a lobby. And even even in the asymmetrical, I can very rarely find a lobby. And that's kind of just unfortunate because I do really enjoy the game. The game itself is really good. However, unfortunately, I don't think that uh, it's very good to get in the lobbies at least i think that this game has a huge amount of, amount of loss potential due to that fact and unfortunately that's just kind of the way it is but as you guys can tell um as a month ago basically 2507 was their peak now at a peak that's you know i mean it is an indie company i would say they don't they're not really as known as they could be i would say the marketing for this game really doesn't exist as much as it could this game definitely has a chance. Um, I just don't think that the marketing is really there, and it's not really its strong suit, unfortunately. But as I was saying, there's only 148 playing right now. However, I will say that the player base does kind of fluctuate. Sometimes it's as high as like 800, which is still decent. However, this game also isn't on console, unlike Evil Dead. And the reason why that matters is because Evil Dead, you can still find matches pretty fast, but for some reason in Home Sweet Home, you're not able to find the matches. And I don't understand why, but it genuinely has taken me 15 minutes to find a match as a survivor, and then playing as killer, it still takes, I don't even know, because I gave up on how long it took, but it took quite a long time. And for that matter, I just didn't really care to play anymore. I want to, but it doesn't seem to. Now, the, the, the bigger issue isn't just the player base. Because, yes, there isn't enough players that the game is pretty much dead already. However, something I want to touch on is if they do release it to console, yes, I do believe, I truly do, that it would be really good. I know that they want to focus on the PC version of the game before they ever focusing on the console version, and I feel like in some ways they can still do that and then releasing an update on console, but still have cross-platform, even if we don't have access to everything that everybody else is able to access, because at least, for the asymmetrical, at least you should be able to play, um, you know, and not have any problems. I don't really think that's a problem. I know that you know, console ports aren't always the greatest, and it's probably part of it. However, I do believe that it would open up their player base, and on top of that, um, their marketing needs to be a little bit stronger. Um, that could be with streamers, content creators, etc. I know I still want to play. I've been at, I've been thinking about asking friends of mine if I could uh, partner up with them and maybe make a collab stream and do a private match. However, there's one more thing I want to touch on, and that one more thing is the fact that there is a killer um, thing. And uh, I'll put it this way. The killer's OP. Now, there was another game called Home Sweet Home Survival, which seems very much like the same game. In some ways, it does seem like it. It kind of is. I don't really know. I never played the original. However, what I, what I want to mention on here is that earlier in the past on that game, survivors had a higher chance. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there is a higher chance that they could have more player base, bring players back who have already played, if they decided to do a few things and tweak a few things. Some people think it's fair right now, I'm just going to tell you the truth, it's not. So there are things called the Ritual. Now with the Ritual, you have to have um, three Rituals done. The issue with having three Rituals done is the fact that... When you do one ritual, for example, that takes, like, so many, so much time. I don't even know exactly how much time. I never timed it myself. 
However, my point being is that even if I did time it, it genuinely takes way too long to... I did it on stream the other day, and it genuinely takes way too long to actually do the rituals. And you only need to do three rituals. Now, hear me out. I honestly think this game would work better as if it was like Friday the 13th when there was like... I don't know how many players it was, but originally Friday the 13th had quite a bit of players and then Jason. Which I think personally works a lot better in this area, and I honestly understand that um, Killer is a little bit overpowered. And the reason why I bring this up... Oh wait, my bad. Um, the reason why I bring that up is the fact that the player base sucks, genuinely. There is no player base. And I do believe that this needs to be a higher chance of finding lobbies. It just needs to just be a little bit better. Now, the fact that they have a ranked match is a little weird to me because genuinely, when you're playing Survivor, it is genuinely hard. And what I mean by this is because you don't have much of a chance to survive. And why I really wish there was more player base is because then I feel like you'd have more fun at it, both as killer and survival. Because I feel like you're not always being killed right off the bat because it's not hard to die. And then on top of that, you can be brought back after either someone does a ritual or you can self-spawn after like a minute or two, like a minute and 30 or something like that. Anyways, there's an issue there. And the issue there is that, number one, the game goes way too fast. I played killer and beat the game in like two minutes. That's a huge issue. I, I shouldn't have that much, you know, t or it shouldn't be that easy. And no matter how I play, it kinds of, it's still kind of pretty fast. Now, I do believe that is part of the reason why their player base has fallen off is because it's a little overpowered. Um, I think what I think would actually help it was being able to probably... Um, let me try something. Can I do in custom I don't even know. Um, no, I can't. Um, being able to actually... Um, I'll just show you for this, ma for this uh, matter, I guess. Um, playing as the Warden, it is a very fun time but a little overpowered. I would say extremely overpowered, but for multiple reasons. Some of it isn't the killer it, killer itself, it's just the way the game mechanics work, including the rituals. It takes quite a long time for the rituals to actually go off. I think that is a huge reason why the game isn't as good as it could be. Now, as you guys can tell, you move around like this, and you, know, you can shift, you press R, to teleport and you can press R. I don't know what the right R does. I don't remember to be honest with you. Um, but there are three rebels. Red, rich required, orange, etc. I would play a game. The issue is my games, you know, like I said, it doesn't it's so hard to find a match. As you can tell, this person's doing a thing we call the ritual. Now with the ritual, something I notice is that basically it is genuinely hard to actually um, complete these because it takes a long time. And in the top left, you can see exactly how many rituals you needed to do, which is four, not three, which I thought was previously, which I, m I think they might change. I do think it should be like two, to tell you the truth. Okay, maybe that's a little OP, but in some ways it should be. So what I think personally is that they need to change that to maybe three, but a little bit faster to do the rituals, and it isn't. Uh, it doesn't take as long to do them. Now, that isn't the only problem. Another problem with this is that when you get past all the ritual stuff and you finish, I feel like you should be able to bring back your teammates alive. Because I've done it, and all my teammates, I believe they all should be spawning at full health. And I say that as a killer. I like playing as killer in this game. I think that it brings more fun to the game. It doesn't feel as competitive as like Dead by Daylight does, for example. I think there's a lot less stress involved if you actually have a chance at winning against the killer. And I do mean that, because the rituals take a long time, plus we can see the rituals through walls, just like generators, the issue with that is. I feel like there's also not enough ri ritual stands, I guess you would call them, when there definitely needs to be a lot more. Now, something I do like is the survivor thing. There's a shield right here, right? And it's good. It's a good touch. However, I can't walk in there because it's my game bugs out in the tutorial, which is, which is the game's issue, I believe. Now... That isn't anybody's fault, that is just a bug that they need to fix, and it kind of is what it is. But the reason why I'm mentioning this is because when I played a survivor, in order to put this barrier up, you have to be running away from the killer. 
Now, what I think there should be is, yes, traps that exist in doorways like that. However, I do believe that the survivor should be able to walk through it if they choose to. And also, the killer should be able to have a... What's it called? If they walk through the barrier, they should be stunned. Instead of, like, the way it happens, oh, you can't walk through it for however long, which I don't know exactly how long it lasts, I think it definitely should be a barrier that stuns you for five seconds rather than being able to walk around and the reason why i bring that up is because of how long the rituals take and however that could be nerfed like half the time and it'd be so much better and then um, on top of that being able to be stunned like that is pretty nice because it, it you don't have any so as you guys can tell right there i meleeed right now when i melee you, the switchblade is brought back or the blade cutter or the box cutter whatever you call it um the blade is brought back, and it makes it where you can't swing instantly right after each other. That's about three, four seconds of uh, timing to be able to, in between swings. Now, that's all right. That's not bad. I, that's, I would say that's pretty fair. However, as I was saying, the ritual is definitely something that needs to be fixed, including this. Being stunned would be so much better than that. Like, for example, I should be able to see the barrier, which I can, and you can see when you're being chased, which is a problem. Because if somebody puts that up a little bit too early, I don't think that they should be killed for the matter, especially for how easy killer is. What I do believe should happen is, let's say we're running this way. We're being chased. Oh, the barrier is up. He's right there. And also, you can actually exit. Well, not maybe. There should be a hole in the wall somewhere, but it's not on here, I guess. Um, he can crawl through the hole, and I can go around and stop him at the hole. And he can't crawl back through unless it's a hole in the wall and not like a great uh, crate or anything like that. Um, there's different things that you can, like, walk through and crouch through, but the, and you can destroy doors and walls, but I do think that that is a little bit fast. I wish I could show you guys, but, it, you know, it's not letting me pass it because there's a bug in the tutorial, which is annoying. But, as I was saying, being able to break doors, I think, should take a little bit longer. Not too long, obviously, because it is break down a door. I understand they don't want to be too strong. Um, but I do believe it should be a little bit better and a little bit, uh, different. And I do think that there could be a lot more perks involved in this game, including those barriers. Like, for example, maybe you have uses of, um, healing items, for example, that are not just healing yourself, but healing your teammates a lot more than it does. I don't know exactly if it heals your, you, the entire life span that you have, but for example, being able to heal others as a perk would be really nice because then maybe it could put a shield around them so they don't get hit as fast or maybe die as fast so they have one extra hit left if they are able to get away from you in the first place because that tends to be another problem is number one they don't seem to get away that much if you're in a chase with somebody and you're st stuck chasing them they don't normally get away very fast and if they do get away it's mainly because you found somebody else that you would rather go after and i've done that too where i would switch survivors but my main point being is I do enjoy this game. I just think it has a lot of issues, including what I just kind of talked about. I do believe this game deserves a chance. I do believe this game could be really good. However, it needs to be updated quite a bit in the sphere of survivors being able to actually have a chance of escaping. Because I do, I've never gotten a game where we did more than one ritual. Actually, I'll put it this way. I've only gotten one game where I only did one ritual, and that's it. No one else did any other rituals. I was the only one who did one, and on top of that, it took maybe two minutes to just finish one, which is quite a bit of time because if you look at generators on, like, Dead by Daylight, for example, that takes about 80 seconds to do a generator without any, like, toolbox or anything like that or without your teammate helping you on the toolbox. Now, another thing that becomes a problem, I do not know if your teammates can do the rituals with you However, I believe that they should. It would speed up the ritual itself. And I think that should happen. As you guys can tell, I can do damage to the ritual spots. And it says the visitors are escaping. Now, I, as a survivor, I've never actually dealt with... Um, two escape doors will appear. And one of them will slowly begin to open the warden can close the opening escape door. So as you guys know, I've, ever, I've actually never gotten to this point in time where... The, these doors actually were able to destroy and I can't hit them sorry but that is one of the um, kind of things that you can do is basically escape door like this 
Now, I don't know exactly how they spawn everywhere, but I do think that there's some issues there because it doesn't seem to have as much um, connection and as much fighting as the game should have. There is a lot missing in this game, and I feel like it could be so much better than what it is. And I'm pretty sure the game just froze, which is funny because that seems to be the issue here. Tons of bugs. Now, oh, never mind, it didn't freeze, it just took a while to load. I thought there was a bug that whole time because I didn't even realize I was supposed to destroy that because that has never happened before. Now, as you guys can tell, there was more than one ritual done. I don't know how the doors spawn, I don't know where they spawn, playing as a visitor, I've never ran into it. And that tends to be the issue I see quite a bit. Now, I'm going to try to load into a game while I talk over this. And actually, I'm going to switch to server Asia because, yes, when you download the game, that's the first server that automatically is selected, which is extremely weird to me. But we're going to try loading into a game of this. Now, if I was to guess, I'd probably say that we're probably 3 minutes and 31 is the estimated search time, which is not bad compared to, like, Dead by Daylight sometimes. However, Dead by Daylight still has more of a player base. Oh, wait, let me uh, go as visitor. My bad. But the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to th think that I'm going to get into a game faster playing as a survivor. There's tons of issues with this game. And I do believe that this game has a lot of potential to being good. The issue is, is we don't know if it ever will. And that's mainly because the game is kind of dead on arrival. The way the game was released had a lot of issues. And a lot of people actually want the game to become the console. And I completely agree. This game definitely, and I mean this, definitely should be on console. As you guys can tell, there's a lot of updates for the game. Like, they're bringing, you know, new, like, killers in the game. The saming drama, or dumb, my bad. It's pretty nice, and I would argue that it's pretty good. However, this game is a huge issue because there's so much missing, and that includes a player base that actually plays their game. Not that their game is bad, because it's not. However, there needs to be more problems fixed including the survivor versus killer type thing because yes it is genuinely really difficult however the game itself is usually pretty fun if you can even get into a match in the first place which a lot of the time you tend not to be able to and that seems to be my issue and where i uh stand however like i said hopefully this game gets updated and is released with better features as a survivor and more potential to being able to actually try to escape. Anyways, that is all i got to say. I am Stealthy Rebellion, signing out.